Hello everyone, this is Ultracal, and today I have some uh, hardware stuff for you. I uh, did some upgrades to my uh, PC in uh, time for Battlefield 4, and I thought I'd... Uh, tell you what I found out and what I bought and uh, also what I've been trying out these last couple of days. I know it's been a while since I since I posted a video and uh, I hope to uh, start posting videos probably not daily but at least a couple of times a week from now on. My concern before the launch of uh, Battlefield 4 was that my uh, computer is uh, a bit more than two years old. That means I have a old motherboard with a first generation i7 and I had an uh, old uh, GTX 580 from GameWorld and also I had a conventional HDD uh, standard hard drive and I thought I should try to uh, go on a budget and just uh, upgrade what I feel is most necessary. So what I did was I ordered an SSD drive, uh, I have some pictures of it right here. And I also went through all the forums and different reviews on the internet. I looked at X-Factor's uh, review of uh, the EVGA GTX cards. So my choice was actually standing between the EVGA superclocked GTX 770 with the ACX cooling. I heard a lot about it. Uh, or was I gonna buy the new Radeon R9280? I did a little bit of thinking and I uh, actually decided to go with the GTX 770. The main reason for this is that uh, the Radeon card and the coming mantle uh, thingy will not be uh, easy to record. Uh, I'm not sure, they might uh, implement a game recorder with the mantle thing. All the recorders on the market today actually records the DirectX and the problem with the new Radeon and mantle is that it doesn't use the DirectX. So I'm guessing and uh, some of my friends are also guessing that mantle and Radeon will make it extremely hard to uh, record your gameplay unless Mantle does like Nvidia and implements something like the shadow play. And uh, that's why I got the EVGA superclocked GTX 770 with the ACX cooling. In all it was uh, nice, it cost me about 3000 crowns. Uh, I live in Sweden by the way. I'm not sure with that what that's in uh, dollars or euros, I'm guessing it's about 300 euros and uh, maybe a little, little bit more in dollars. Um, anyway, it was good value and the Radeon one costed, cost about 200 crowns less, that is about 20 euros less and uh, whatever that is in dollars. So, I'm very happy about my new graphics card and I uh, just installed it and uh, tried the test range in Battlefield 4 and uh, I thought I should uh, look at my frames per second and also try out the different quality uh, settings on Shadowplay. So I'm guessing that uh, YouTube will fuck it up completely but uh, at least I will see what I should be recording in. There are, at the moment, there's only three settings for shadow play. It's still a beta. And it's low quality, it's medium quality, and it's high quality. So I thought I should go through them all with you guys. And uh, we're gonna start now with the low quality settings. I play Battlefield in uh, 1920 times 1080 p that is full HD. I uh, try to always get at least 60 frames per second and with the new EVGA card uh, I get a lot more, so that's nice. 
as you can see the video bitrate was 16,500 kilobits per second at 62 frames per second uh, 5 minutes of recording took uh, about 560 megabytes of hard disk space and that's really nice and uh, we move on to uh, the medium settings and we have a bit higher bitrate uh, 23,000 uh, kilobits per second uh, 5 minutes of recording is about 825 megabytes of hard disk space and uh, we are coming up on the high quality recording of shadow play and uh, there we have 53,000 kilobits per second and uh, those files are significantly bigger. The five minutes of recording takes up about 1.9 gigabytes of the hard disk space. Um, I'm gonna take a good look at this video once it's been posted on YouTube and uh, give it some serious thoughts what I should record in. I will definitely be using Shadowplay for all my coming videos and uh, it's actually more a question of how much YouTube uh, screws up the quality. I don't see a point in recording in the high quality if YouTube fucks it up down to something more like the low quality settings. So um, I think that's what I have for today. I will be posting uh, more Battlefield for gameplay very soon. I'm so excited to start playing the game with my new graphics card. As I might have said before, I have a 60 hertz monitor, so I'm uh, happy as long as I get at least 60 frames per second in game. And I do, because shadow play doesn't seem to uh, strain the GPU at all. This is it for this time. I hope you liked it. I know I might sound a bit confused, but I'm doing my best here. So, I will see you on the battlefield really soon. And uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. And uh, feel free to write a comment if you want me to try something out. And of course, please also give me a thumbs up. It's really fun for me to see when people like my videos. So that's it for this time. This is Ultra Cow, signing off.